Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. So I have a quick little project share that I wanted to do. And it's kind of one of those that I've been holding off for a few months now. <laughs> I got the bits and pieces in, oh goodness, June? I have no idea when. <laughs> it was a long time ago, a long haul ago. But I purchased these Simple Stories Howdy, and it's the journal bits and then the bits and pieces. Here's a little overview of them. Because I had some cowboy stuff that I wanted to work on. I had a few... I had another sticker set, and it was actually Cowgirl, and it just didn't go as well as I was hoping. So I didn't end up using those stickers, but I did end up using some of the papers that I had in my stash from Jennifer. She sent me some of these awesome realistic papers, and I pulled out all of the sand ones, the hay, this one that looks kind of like gold I used. Oh, hold on. And then there was also some burlap looking pieces. I used up all of that. <laughs> and then some grass and some denim. And then I also pulled in, she just sent me, which is what inspired me to go ahead and just do this project <laughs> or these projects. She sent me a stack of denim, like actually textured paper. So I used some of that. And then here are my little bits and pieces that I didn't end up using. Not quite sure. I think I'll just stick them in with the stickers that I have, the cowgirl ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using them, but I'll stick them in there just in case. I could also make some embellishments if I wanted to with those. I just don't really have other images, so I think I'll just stick them in with the, the stickers. And just <laughs> wait another few months to work on those. <laughs> so here are my projects. I started off with a mini album. This is of course an envelope mini album. They're just my favorites to make right now. So I've got that burlap paper in the background there. I also used a burlap ribbon to go along. And I used a bunch of the cut aparts, not cut aparts, bits and pieces in this album so I can just kind of do a little overview here and you can see all of the little collaging of the pieces I think it turned out so cute oh I should get a piece of paper out so you guys can see where all the tuck spots are so a little tuck spot here and then we have a tuck spot here And then there's this guy, and this is an open tuck spot all the way here. That orange looks cute. <laughs> and then I have another tuck spot right here. I probably should have done one in this corner, but I kind of liked this wood grain with that hay. So it worked out. Oops. I was worried about the tuck spot. <laughs> and then over here, we have a tuck spot right here. This one's more of a, oh my gosh, it's just so full of little extra goodies. It's like an I Spy, the bank robber kind of wanted. <laughs> and then here we have a tuck spot right here. And then just a tiny little guy over here. And then one little over here. And then this one's kind of like the camp scene. And then you can put a photo or just a little tuck spot right there. And then a tuck spot here. It turned out so good. I really love it. It is so cute. I love the mixing of the realistic papers with those cartoony elements. So cool. 
<laughs> and then I created a gift bag and gift tag set or note card set. So we have a blue and white bag. And then this is the little scene that I came up with. <laughs> Just the little raccoon bandit, I guess. <laughs> the little horse and it says giddy up. And then up here, a little element and it says let's ride. And then here is the little card. I'll poke a little hole here with my crocodile, and then I think I'm gonna do maybe a tan ribbon. I think that'll be good. Maybe a blue one. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, red would actually work too because I do have some poking out. I think I'm all out of red ribbon though. I just kind of stick the ones that I don't quite finish with like ribbons and stuff in a bucket that's where this one will go <laughs> until I can finish it up. I also did a few cards. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I love how these turned out. So they, all of them have pretty much the same idea here. I did a background pattern and then I did a strip and then a three by three denim square. For this one, I did this little gecko. <laughs> He's like a a bandit gecko and he says yeehaw and then it says this ain't my first rodeo there's a little stick of dynamite back there <laughs> he's up to no good and then there's a most wanted sign and then inside here it says wild adventures with him in there as well and then this one we have that kind of old style cowboy image and it says howdy and whoa, Nelly. <laughs> and then we have the rope and um, horseshoes. <laughs> and then on the inside, I just have a scrap of the grass paper. And then this one, I have more of a kind of just overall cowboy feel. It has the kind of desert uh, skull. And then it has the raccoon cap <laughs> the wagon and then some of these paisleys from like a bandana and it says happy trails and yonder and then just some of that hay paper on the inside and then this one oh i love how this one turned out these cut apart, cut apart bits and pieces the ephemera pieces were just so cool and i knew they had to be their own little scene card so I just layered them up and then added a little howdy partner and then wild wild west right down in there. I think that this one is just it's so cool. Love how this one turned out. I thought about making that into a gift bag, but I was like, no, it's going to fit perfectly on a card. And I'm glad I did that because it looks so good. I think it's my favorite. <laughs> Maybe my second favorite is the little bandit gecko because <laughs> he turned out really cool but those are all of my cowboy projects using the howdy simple stories bits and pieces and journal bits along with some papers that were already in my stash <laughs> I love how all of them turned out it's just so fun to look at. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me while I showed you my cowboy projects. I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!